I'm Bo Brusco, a reporter with the Linwood Times, and today I'm going to try some food at Tapped Mukilteo. I'm very excited. Let's check it out. Tapped Mukilteo is a new restaurant and tap house in Mukilteo, Washington, located just off the speedway between Kamiak High School and the Painfield Airport. Having just opened in February of this year, I thought I'd check out a newer spot that maybe some of the locals haven't had a chance to try quite yet. Before trying the food, though, I showed up super early so I could have the chance to chat with the owner, Sean Drought. Tapped Public House is um, you know, elevated pub food, Pacific Northwest inspired dishes, craft beer, cider. Um, but most importantly, it's just a place for people to get together and connect engage with friends and family and, you know, just a spot to hang out, basically. Talking about Pacific Northwest-inspired cuisine, I asked Sean which dish he believes captures the PNW spirit the most. Probably a seafood chowder. So a lot of vegetables from local farms, um, cod, shrimp, um, clams, everything that you kind of think of when you think of this area. Um, but as far as the menu goes, we try to partner with, with farms locally. We try to carry seasonal products as far as produce goes. Seafood heavy, um, some local ranchers that we get beef from, local butcher shop we get our meats from. Um, everything we try to keep as close to home as we can. Same thing with the craft beer and the cider and wines. Keeping the conversation food focused, I asked Sean which dish he'd serve Gordon Ramsay if he were to walk through the door. For him, probably the prime rib dip. Prime rib dip? Yeah, I think a French dip or a prime rib dip um, is a good indicator of how the restaurant is. It's only got a few components, but they all have to be on point. And uh, I think ours is, is pretty solid. After talking with Sean, it was clear which menu items I needed to try. The PNW seafood chowder, and the prime rib dip sandwich. Okay, I'm a picky eater when it comes to seafood, not gonna lie. Like, there's only like two forms of seafood I'll eat, but this chowder is really good. They even, uh, they gave me hot sauce to go in the chowder just in case, and I, it doesn't need any hot sauce. I can't see how anything could make this chowder any better. Well, so I'm a really big sandwich guy. Um, I worked at Subway, Quiznos, and Jimmy John's, so I have very, very high standards for sandwiches. And this prime rib dip is next level. I have to tell you, the ingredients are really good. Obviously, everything is quality, but I don't know why. I think putting the salt on top of this is such, such a smart move. It really, because the salt helps to bring out and accentuate all the other flavors going on here. Wow. Wow. Of course we can't talk about Tap Knuckle Tia without mentioning their huge selection of beer, wine, and cider that's both local and seasonal. I didn't try anything on Tap, but I did manage to sneak home some cans and they were exquisite to say the least. Thanks for stopping by a tap with me today. I can't say enough good things about this place, about the food, about the staff, about the uh, atmosphere and environment. I think the chowder was phenomenal. The, uh, the prime rib French dip absolutely knocked my socks off. And if I had to give this place a rating, I'd give them 10,000 golden forks. It was amazing. Big thank you to everyone at Tapped. You can follow them on Instagram at TappedMuckleTio, and be sure to visit LinwoodTimes.com to read my full review under the Local Eats section.